I was kind of like a third wheel, so it was uncomfortable, but I got through it. One of the members and I actually made a bet with each other that we wouldn't drink, and both of us tried to throw it because he had a similar type trip. As you've learned, Ronnie, it it takes up to and likely more than one year for pause post-acute withdrawal syndrome to subside. There have naturally been highs and lows during this year. Some things have come easy. Some things have been challenging. Um, how has the ongoing support been useful to you? For me, I, I, I need the accountability. And, um, you know, the friendship, the camaraderie, hearing different people's struggles, and then being able to communicate my struggles, you know, and, uh, and being honest and open about them. I mean, you don't need to let it all out there, the, the specifics, but you can definitely talk about recently, um, someone was talking about how, uh, you know, a, a drink would be attractive or whatever, and, you know, the fear of missing out. And we all got to chime in on um, our perspective on that. And it was pretty, it was pretty cool because I think everybody feels it's not a unique feeling, but everybody, everybody's perspective is unique. To them. Agreed. Agreed. Yes. Uh when members join Beyond 90, there is no expectation that we have checked the box with alcohol. In fact, the science indicates that at 90 days, we've started to build those new neural pathways. The addictive pathways are starting to calm down a little bit. And science demonstrates the importance of continuing to nurture those new neural pathways so that over time they become the default. And so when a Beyond 90 member says, I'm having a craving, or this is weird, I'm kind of negotiating or missing a drink. It's it's not, we're not gr- clutching our pearls and saying, oh my gosh, are you kidding? It's quite the opposite. More often than not, it's people saying, I've been there and this is what helped. Exactly. Mm-hmm. It's, so it's been the accountability. I wouldn't have been able to do this by myself. As I, I demonstrated 300 plus times, Phil, and you know what I mean? So uh, yeah. it's just, it's, it's, I can't believe that I'm pulling this off. I can't. It's really unbelievable. Yeah. But I am. I can believe it, Ronnie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Talk a little bit about that. Um, it's normal. I describe that first year, especially as uh, feeling a bit like you're walking on a tightrope. And if you if you look back or you look down, you fear you'll fall. For me, I jump on, jump in with everything I've got. So uh, mm-hmm. it's been pretty easy. I, when I go after something, you know, we're all high achieving people. So everybody's got a certain amount of motivation and a certain amount of drive. So. Um, I think it's been, you know, once you make the decision to jump all in, it, there's no looking back. So that's mm-hmm. th- that's one thing we've got going for us. And uh, yes. I am proud of that, that I've been able to jump all in and give it everything I've got. And, you, know, you really have. So there's no, there's, nobody can take that. That's, mm-hmm. a, that's a fact. Mm-hmm. And yet, even with your full commitment, and, and I will say for our listeners, Ronnie has been one of the most committed members to this journey. He gets on the calls, he gets on the polos, he's honest, he's vulnerable. Uh, There were times where you would still have some future tripping, as I call it, you know, fear about an an event that's coming up or something like that, that would, uh, that would cause you some, some stress and some worry. And, and I understand, I understand why, because You've never gone on these sorts of trips, the boat trip, the famous boat trip, without drinking. And so it makes sense. Uh, what was it like to have the coaches and the other members believe in you when those moments of self-doubt would creep in? You know, it was it was definitely helpful. And um, so I personally, everybody's probably got their own little things they do. Maybe it's a uh, sporting event, whatever. But my wife and I personally, we charter boats and we've done and I own boats over the years. And it was always a drinking situation, always. So I had everybody's kind of had fun with me a little bit. And because um, I've talked about these trips and we just went on one a couple weeks ago. 
And um, it was challenging. Um, part of the routine of the, that specific trip, part of the, the routine for the, for the guests is drinking. So it was kind of, I was kind of like a third wheel. So it was uncomfortable. Um, but I got through it. And the, the organization, you know, I was able to polo. I actually got on a couple of calls and worked off my schedule. And um, one of the members and I actually made a bet with each other that we wouldn't drink. And uh, both of us tried to throw it because he had a similar type trip that he had with him. Uh, he, had, he goes to the Bahamas and he had a bunch of people that he was with. It was a similar situation. So we both came through with following colors. And um, it was great. It was great to get it behind me. And, um, you know, the other part of it is, I don't know if I want to, you know, there's a phrase, if you're in the barbershop enough, you're going to get a haircut. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if I necessarily want to be in that environment as much as I used to. I might change and modify what I do in the future. Um, that's all. So, but it was good. It was good to get it behind me. It was good to me. had to face the challenge. And it was mm -hmm. good to to not partake, you know, and then there'd be times where I was next to, you know, the, on the boat, they have all the fixes on the alcohol. And I'd have a flash thought of, oh, I could get a drink. But immediately I dismissed it and I made the right choice. I was committed to what I was doing and I was kind of prepared. I knew going into it, um, I wasn't winging it. I was prepared to, I had, I had resolve. Absolutely. And there's no shame in having those thoughts. Those thoughts are normal. One of the things we talk about a lot is not trying to control our thoughts, letting them come and recognizing that a thought is simply that, a thought. It doesn't mean that we have to act on it. 